Hi there. Welcome to today's tutorial. Have you ever found yourself endlessly scrolling through a spreadsheet, wishing you could keep important rows visible at the top? No worries, Excel has your back. Today, we're going to learn how to freeze multiple rows, specifically the first two rows, so they stay visible no matter how far you scroll. And guess what? The same method works for freezing any number of rows. Excited? Let's dive in. Hello, and welcome to Sheet Leveler. I'm Hannah, and along with the rest of the Sheet Leveler team, I'm here to show you how to use Excel like a pro. Our tutorials are designed to make learning quick, easy, and fun. So let's get started. First, we need to tell Excel exactly which rows we want to freeze. That's done using the cell cursor, and here's how it works. Let's say you want to freeze the first two rows of your table, just the rows at the very top. No columns. Place your cursor in cell A3. Why A3? Because Excel freezes all rows above the selected cell and all columns to the left. In this case, there are no columns to the left of column A, so only rows one and two will be frozen. What if you set your cursor in cell B3 instead? Now, Excel will freeze rows 1 and 2 and column A. Keep this in mind. The rows above and the columns to the left of your selected cell will be locked in place. But for now, let's focus on freezing just the first two rows. Once your cursor is in the right spot, in this case cell A3, you're ready to freeze those rows. Click on the View tab at the top of the screen. Look for the Freeze Panes button and click it. In the drop-down menu, choose Freeze Panes. And that's it. Excel will freeze exactly the rows you selected, rows 1 and 2 in this case. Now if you scroll down your spreadsheet, you'll notice that rows 1 and 2 stay locked at the top, while the rest of the sheet scrolls normally. Pretty handy, right? Unfreezing the rows changed your mind? No problem. Go back to the Freeze Panes button. This time, select Unfreeze Panes. Once you do, Excel will release the frozen rows and everything will scroll freely again. Bonus tip. Let's see what happens if we go back to the cell B3 example. If you set your cursor there and then freeze panes, Excel will lock. Rows 1 and 2 above the selected cell. Column A to the left of the selected cell. This is a great trick if you need to keep both rows and columns visible while scrolling through a large data table. And there you have it. You now know how to freeze multiple rows, like the first two, unfreeze them when needed, even freeze both rows and columns at the same time. This method is super flexible. So whether you're working with two rows, five rows, or even a mix of rows and columns. Excel's freeze panes feature has got you covered. If this tutorial was helpful, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Sheet Leveler for more tips and tricks to level up your Excel game. Got questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.